Glad you're with us. I'm Ajane Robinson. Topping the news tonight, the Omicron variant is spreading quickly in some parts of the country. It now represents about 3% of all cases in the U.S. COVID, COVID does not discriminate and COVID does not sleep. As of right now, there's already a slight increase in community transmission across the state and in Tuscaloosa. Now, Dr. Richard Friend says so far, some of the data from South Africa and other countries is that the Omicron variant does appear to be affecting the younger population more severely. Um, which is sad, especially when we have a vaccine available um, for the five to from five and up. All of those folks need to get vaccinated. They need to get vaccinated now, and those that are eligible for boosters need to get boosters. These now, Dr. Friend also says these are the same tips and advice they've been giving since the beginning of the pandemic. But it's now more important than ever uh, because we really don't know a lot about Omicron. Now, if you're fully vaccinated and have received your booster shots, Dr. Friend says you have pretty good protection against the new variant. Um, and, and when I say that, you're still susceptible to becoming positive with COVID, but the chances of you becoming seriously ill or hospitalized or dying are continue to be very small. And quite frankly, we're lucky that this variant uh, is this susceptible to our current vaccine. As far as concerns regarding what might happen when students return back to campus, Dr. Friend says the state needs to do a better job with getting vaccinated and boosted to prevent transmission of the variant.